In this video, we will discuss about embryo transfer, its introduction, techniques, that is choice of the embryo, fertilization and culture, the transfer, we will also discuss the types of embryo transfer, assisted hatching, as well as the types of hatching. So first, we will discuss what is an embryo. An embryo is unborn child, that is, a child that has not been born until the age of 7th week of conception. So till the 7th week of conception, an unborn child is called an embryo. So after the 7th week is over, from the 8th week, the unborn child is called a fetus. So what is embryo? An unborn child until the end of 7th week, we call it as embryo. So what is embryo transfer? Embryo transfer is a process that is used in assisted reproduction and it transfers the embryo to the uterus of a female. So an embryo is transferred to the uterus of a female so that she can establish a pregnancy. So what is embryo? An unborn child until the end of seventh week is known as an embryo. and this embryo, when it is transferred to the uterus of a female, we call it as embryo transfer. This diagram shows about the human development, often known as embryogenesis. So when the egg and the sperm fertilizes, the resultant product is called the zygote. The zygote develops into an embryo. Till the seventh week, we call it as an embryo. And after the seventh week is completed, it is a fetus. And what is a baby? The newly born child is known as the baby. So, the embryo develops into a fetus. So, after the seventh week is over, it is a fetus. So, the embryo transfer that we referred earlier is the last stage of in vitro fertilization. The in vitro fertilization term is very common to us. It is the expanded form of IVF. And what does IVF do? They stimulate the ovaries. That is, they give fertility medications so that they can stimulate the ovaries. So they stimulate the ovaries in a purpose to release healthy eggs. So the healthy eggs obtained from the ovaries are collected and these are fertilized with a sperm in the lab. So after which they are fertilized, they are allowed to multiply till they are embryo. So till the embryo stage, these eggs, these fertilized eggs are allowed to multiply. And after they reach the embryo stage, they are transferred back to the woman's uterus. The pregnancy is carried out when the embryo is get attached to the wall of her womb. So when an embryo attaches to the uterus, a pregnancy begins. This diagram shows about the fetal growth. When an unborn baby is about eight weeks old, it is called an embryo. And after age of eight weeks it is a fetus so it is in this period that is it is an embryonic period the embryo transfer occurs and all the fetal development that is after eight weeks development occurs in a mother's womb so the embryo transfer is carried out when the embryo is two to eight cell stage so when the embryos are 2 to 8 cell stage, these embryo transfer occurs. That is, it can be transferred at the day 1 to the day 6. It is usually carried out at days 2 to 4. This diagram here shows that the embryo is in between 2 cell stage to 8 cell stage. So it is between these stages, that is 2 cell stage to 8 cell stage, the embryo transfer occurs. 
Next, we will discuss about embryo transfer techniques. It is basically divided into three. First is choice of embryo. Second, fertilization as well as culture. Third is the transfer. So the first step of embryo transfer is choice of embryo. We choose the best eggs two to three days before the embryo transfer. So these best eggs are chosen based on metabolomic profiling. So what is metabolomic profiling? It is the process of selecting the best beneficial eggs out of many eggs. After we choose the best eggs, next is the fertilization and cultural step. These eggs are then fertilized in a lab and after it's fertilized, it is cultured for one to two days. If we obtain many embryos, that is many good embryos, the ones needed is left and others are frozen. So next is the transfer of the embryo. How these embryos are transferred to a mother's womb. Doctors first insert a speculum. These speculum are inserted to a woman's vagina. These open the vaginal walls. So using a speculum, which is a metal instrument, a doctor is able to open the vaginal wall. Next, using an ultrasound, they can pass a catheter through the cervix into a womb. It is through these catheters they are able to transfer the embryo into the womb. So, what is a catheter? Catheter is a flexible tube that can be easily inserted. And this transfer process is pain-free. This diagram here shows a speculum as well as a catheter. A speculum is a metal instrument that helps to open the vaginal wall and catheter is a flexible tube that is inserted into the cervix. This image helps you understand more about speculum. It is using these speculum, they are able to open the walls. After a speculum opens the vaginal wall, the catheter is inserted. The catheter is a flexible tube, hence we can easily insert it. The catheter has an embryo with them. These embryos are transferred from in vitro to a mother's womb. And this is how the transfer occurs. This diagram explains the overall setup of an IVF. First is the stimulation of ovaries. These ovaries are stimulated using medications. After they are stimulated. The eggs are released. These eggs are collected. These collected eggs are fertilized using a sperm. And after it is fertilized, these embryos are developed. Once the embryo development is completed, these embryos are allowed to transfer to the uterus. These transfer requires a speculum as well as a catheter. So now we will discuss the types of embryo transfer. First is the fresh embryo transfer. Once the eggs has been fertilized and the culture is done, these best embryos are transferred directly to the woman's uterus. So once these eggs are fertilized, after the culture period is over, the best embryos are chosen. The best embryo is then transferred directly to a woman's uterus. Next is the frozen embryo transfer. Here, these embryos, if we get more than one best embryo, we frozen rest embryos. These embryos are later told and transferred to the uterus. So what is the difference between fresh and frozen? Fresh is immediately after the fertilization and culture period. These are transferred. Whereas in frozen embryo, after these fertilization and culture techniques are over, 
they are cryo preserved that is they are frozen after these frozen when there is a need they are thawed as and transferred to the uterus so the blastocyst embryo transfer the blastocyst embryo transfer is done when we got many healthy embryos these these are allowed to develop to a blastocyst a blastocyst embryo transfer has higher rate than the standard embryo transfer which is done on day 3 so this is the structure of blastocyst blastocyst is formed after the embryo development is completed so first when an egg is fertilized we get the zygote zygote develops into an embryo and the embryo develops to a blastocyst the blastocyst has a inner cell mass as well as a tropoblast this tropoblast is covered by a zona pellucidica the blastocyst embryo transfer is at the stage of blastocyst that is after a fertilized egg is obtained these are allowed to develop to an embryo stage and after the embryo stage we get the blastocyst stage and at this stage the embryo is transferred to the uterus next we will discuss about assisted hatching Assisted hatching is a technique in IVF. In this technique, the zona, that is, the layer outside the blastocyst, is being treated prior to the embryo transfer. So, the zona layer of the blastocyst is treated prior to the embryo embryo transfer. This is done so that it weakens the wall of the embryo. This leads to the success of hatching as well as the embryo implantation next we will discuss the types of hatching there are three types that is mechanical chemical as well as laser hatching first we will discuss about mechanical hatching mechanical hatching is a technique that is used with the help of mechanical tool it uses a glass needle to break the zona layer it is done in a micro manipulator this diagram is a mechanical hatching technique the zona layer is been treated prior to the embryo transfer this is done using a glass needle that is a long drawn out glass needle next we will discuss about the chemical as well as the laser hatching the chemical hatching is a technique in which the zona pellucida is treated using chemicals that is a hole is created in the zona pellucida of the embryo this is done using a acid triode solution next is the laser hatching this laser hatching creates a gap in the zona pellucida this gap is created using a infrared laser diode this diagram is about laser hatching the laser is used for creating a gap in the zona pellucida of the embryo thereby a gap is created in the zona prior to the embryo transfer hope you understood the concept of embryo transfer for more such videos do subscribe to our channel